Jung's Analytical Psychology, The Complexes, Part 6 of 10. Personality Psychology, Dr. Michael Botwin, Department of Psychology, California State University, Fresno. Carl Jung once said, a person does not have a complex, a complex has them. Now, in Jungian scheme, complexes are centers of psychic energy that reside in the personal unconscious. They are the result of emotions, thoughts, feelings, and experiences that we've had that generate psychic energy. Now, this is kind of a blend of Freud's preconscious and unconscious. It's our personal experiences. There's a deeper level to Jung's system of consciousness that is the collective unconscious, and we'll be talking about that shortly. So let's talk about some Jungian complexes. Well, this is actually an Austin complex. It's not in uh, Jung's model. And by an Austin complex, I mean it's in Austin, Texas. Uh, this funky complex, I could not figure out where it's at at the web, might be in Asia. There was a lot of Asian websites with it. And finally, this complex, uh, rather interesting, in Gdansk, Poland. But that's not the kind of complex we're talking about. We're talking about Jungian complexes. Now, Jungian complexes can be mild and color our lives, or they can overwhelm an individual. Generally, they're unconscious, and they start developing through childhood experiences. They're organized constellations of psychic energy that are based on feelings, thoughts, perceptions, and memories. Anything that has caused such an impression on our psyche that it develops a nucleus of psychic energy. And this nucleus attracts more and more feelings and thoughts and cognitions as we get older and our complexes get larger and more sophisticated. So for Jung, Jung also says a complex may be uh, so robust in an individual psyche that it turns, it's like having a secondary personality and it might have its own mental life. In fact, at the extreme At its extreme, a complex may take over an individual's personality and use the psyche for its own ends. So complexes are interesting. They may work hand in hand with the archetypes. For example, if you have a god archetype, as everyone does, it might be affected also by the religious complex that you have that flavors the archetype. So I was born into a Catholic household and I was raised with the Catholic religion. So around my God plot complex, I have kind of the Catholicism morals and ethos that go with that. So complexes, very important structural component of Jungian theory. So let me just talk a couple more minutes about the notion of the Jungian complex. You've probably heard of some of the more standard Jungian complexes like those individuals who may have an inferiority complex that feel nothing is ever good enough 
or they may in turn also have a superiority complex, feeling they're better than most other people. You can have a complex about anything. We typically have mother complexes, father complexes. As a college student over the years, you may have indeed developed a professor complex. Or maybe you thought your professors have given you complexes. That's another issue and a very bad joke. But the more you've learned about professors, the more rich your professor complex has become. And it's a center of psychic energy. So if you see professors as people who are helping you learn, mentoring you, doing good things, you're posit going to have a positive complex about professors. If you see professors as individuals who are just out to get you, have you do useless busy work, and uh, are a hindrance to your future goals, you're going to have a negative complex about professors. So complex is really important in the Jung scheme. They are the things that affect most of our behavior uh, based on our past experiences. Uh, and they work together with the archetypes. So, no more apartment complexes, but enough on Jungian complexes. See you next time in Personality Psychology. Bye now. This has been a We Have Couches video production. Copyright 2020, Professor Michael Botwin. All rights reserved.